All right, starting off first with a 1998 P Mint Mark Roosevelt Dime. This coin has been broad struck, multi struck with an obverse brockage. So we got a lot going on here. Of course, this coin error is very visible. You don't need a microscope or anything like that to uh, see these type of mint errors. But this dime did end up selling for over $160. As we move on here to a 1998 P Mint Mark Roosevelt Dime, this has a clip error. Now, some can be much smaller than this. This is a very large one. Some of them can take up a large portion of the coin like this. This coin ended up selling for over $60. Next up is a 1998 D Mint Mark that is graded by PCGS at a Mint State 67 with full bands. If you're not familiar with full bands, here's an image of that. Uh, they have to be uninterrupted. They have to be full bands. I've done videos on those. Uh, feel free to check out my other dime videos here on YouTube. But this coin does have that high grade of a Mint State 67. So that's where the value comes in at with the full bands. And that's why the coin sold for over $160. So it all depends on how many of these coins exist at this grade or higher. That will really determine the, the, the value, the grade population. Here is a 1998 P Mint Mark graded by NGC at a Mint State 67. This coin has been double struck and we also have an obverse indent. So we'll see that there on the obverse or the front of the coin. And then here on the reverse, we'll see the error as well. This coin here ended up selling for over $180. Moving on to a 1998 Roosevelt Dime. This is the P Mint Mark. It was double struck. It's been broad struck. It's got an obverse indent. All kinds of stuff going on here. Uh, that is crazy. This coin here sold for over $370. Moving right along to a 1998 that has an obverse die cap. Some die caps won't be extreme as this. Uh, you can look for them on all kinds of different coins, not just Roosevelt Dimes. They take place on all kinds of different denominations. But this coin did end up selling for over $400. Of course, this is not going to fit in a coin roll. Uh, but I have to throw it in here since it's a 1998 dime. Now, here's a 1998 P Mint Mark. Again, this has a very, very high grade. The coin grading scale only goes up to 70, 70 being the best. This is at a 69. Uh, it's also got the full torch. This coin here sold for over $640. Moving on to a very extreme type of mint error. Look at that. Definitely not finding these ones in coin rolls. Coin has been multi struck 1998 P Mint Mark Roosevelt Dime that sold for over $250. Moving right along to a 1998 Roosevelt Dime that was struck onto a one cent stock. So we will see that it does not have clad layers. And as a result of the mint error, this coin sold for over $4,400. That's right, over $4,000 for that Roosevelt Dime. Now here is the proof dime. Proof coins are different than business strike coins. If you type in proof coins, couch collectibles here on YouTube, you'll find my videos on those. They're gonna be much more detailed, have mirror-like finishes. They're not intended for circulation. Uh, they're sold basically in sets for collectors and whatnot. But this coin has a perfect grade. It does not get any better than 70. This is graded at a proof 70 ultra cameo. And that's why the coin sold for around $70. So they're not super valuable, and it's gonna be very hard to get this grade. So not really worth grading those coins or taking them out of your proof sets and trying to grade them uh, just for a $70 coin. After you pay to get it graded and all that stuff, you're not really making any money on that. But also we have a proof coin that is silver. The last proof coin that we looked at was not silver. So keep that in mind. There's gonna be a non-silver and a silver uh, for 1998. Uh, there are other years that are like that as well. So this coin here also has the same grade, Proof 70 Ultra Cameo. This coin here ended up selling for over $55. So really, not as much. It all just depends on when you sell it and basically the demand for it at the time in which you sell it. So $55 for that coin. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you all in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear. Thank <laughs> you.